We just explored how the magic square of 4x4, sometimes known as the magic square of Jupiter, had um, harmonic numbers all adding up to 34, how it was created. But what I want to show now is that inside this matrix of 16 numbers is what we call hidden internal symmetry. And it's just, there's many, many examples of how we can get children to rip this apart, open it up and find more patterning within the number. So what I'd like to do is I'm calling this the magic square of four by four, the odds versus the even. So over here, we'll draw the odd numbers here. I'll put odd. And over here, we're going to draw the evens. And when I create the two, I want you to be able to observe what, what relationship does the odd numbers have to the evens, if any. So first of all, if we put a dot in the center of every cell, you can see that we're going to have 16 dots. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to just put these dots in. So you have to ignore this blue frame. But you can see, to get these 16 dots, if you can see this light blue frame, I actually created a three by three, one, two, three, nine, nine squares to get the corners of these, this grid of 16 dots. So we need, that's for the odds. And let's do the even. So we need also 16 dots over here. And it hasn't been done to scale. It hasn't been drawn out, but it's just a, a rough um, sketch of 16 dots. Okay, so we start, we, we look at these numbers and we're going to start with the number one. And we're going to skip two because we're only going to join, say, the odd numbers. I'm going to go one to three. So we know that one's here. One to three is, is one to there. So I draw a straight line from one to three. Then to five must be over here. And then we go to seven, which is straight diagonally down. One, three, five, seven. Where's number nine? Across. 11 is it's coming up again. We're almost there. It's quick. We've skipped so many numbers. 11, 13 is the corner point. 13. Notice that there's two parallel lines here. That's interesting. 13 and 15 is down here. And often in my work, I um, because this is like a circuit, if you visualize this as a copper, copper circuit and energy is flowing through this um, yantra. Yantra means power art. I always like to connect the last to the first because this literally closes the circuit and the electrons are running through out this forever. So you look at that and you say, like, it's not very interesting, it's just a pattern. And it doesn't. at the moment it doesn't show any symmetry or harmony, but we'll see what happens with the evens. I'll use the same color. So we're gonna start with two. So I'll highlight two, and I know and four is in the corner here. So I'm going to go straight down to four. So we're going two, four, six is over here. Two, four, six, eight. And two, four, six. Now eight just jumps up. And ten is across and twelve. So I can go straight. Ten, twelve. Ten, twelve. 14 is straight down here. And the last number 16 is up the top. And like I said before, we're going to close the circuit 16 back to 1. So that's 16 back to 1. So what we do is we step back and we've got two kind of apparently random different type of patterns. But if you squint your eyes and look closely at it, you will realize that 1... If I rotated, say, this one, look at this line here. If, if, I, if I rotated this 90 degrees, this would end up, say, here. And if I rotated it one more time, th this line would, um, yeah, no, th this, this line here would end up where this is here. So if I did a 90 degree rotation, um, you would see that they're actually connected by rotation. Well, you know, you could follow this line here. You could, ro you could rotate this around and you'll see that that line becomes that line. So, that, yeah, I found that as an interesting kind of concept that um, you wouldn't think that the odd numbers and the even numbers um, were, were somehow married in a way that they had not identical patterns, but similar patterns by rotation. 
Yeah, so um, I originally um, was teaching this to a lot of children at schools. I was invited in many schools around Australia. So I formed a show called Math and Magic. And I was working with a lot of ch disadvantaged children, children that had learning problems, children that were on the spectrum. And they didn't understand what magic squares were. So what we had to do is we had to translate number into picture. And because I walked in as like a show for schools, I had to create like a costume. So, um, so I, I would wear this costume here. I'd, I'd write the numbers. I'd write the numbers here in a large way where you can see you can see the sixteen numbers. And it was all hand sewn. And then for the younger students, so they understood the numbers. But basically, what I did was I would actually um, wear the robe. I, I would actually wear the robe. So that they could see, they could actually see that when they join a line from one to two to three to four, they would actually um, create this geometry. So, so this whole um, school of sacred geometry actually started by addressing an, a, a very important need in the education system where a lot of the children were failing. They just weren't understanding it. So um, that's why I like to talk about magic squares because it's kind of a starting point. And for myself, by spending um, my early years after 20 focusing and learning about magic squares it opened up the door to understand pl platonic solids fibonacci sequences prime numbers so the this is a magic square of four by four but when you look at the magic square of three it's the first harmonic in the universe and that three by three of nine numbers which is actually um this this set of numbers here these nine numbers is the first harmonic in the universe and and when it's tiled and tessellated its pattern produces the atomic structure of diamond so what i'm fascinated by is that children when they when they explore numbers and magic squares not not just magic squares but, but by getting children to discover patterning it opens up their consciousness to explore further fascination fascinating realms in mathematics